Hello, this is Bear from Bear Wave. How's it going? Here's a new video on the Nasdaq. Today we're going to look at a four hour count. We're going to look at what could happen in the middle term. So, pretty much a few weeks from, from today, and what we could see, and of course, consequentially, what the trade opportunity could be. So, there you go. This is a four hour chart, as I said. Here we have the cover lows. So one of my counts is basically saying that we have a wave one completed here, and then wave two completed with the elections, the presidential elections of 2020. And from there, we could be still in the wave three of the same degree, so intermediate degree. That's possible because as you can see here, basically we've had this, support line that has acted as support for the entire trend. So that's one evidence in favor of that hypothesis. And of course, because so far it does look like we are in a bear market yet. So that's my favorite count. Now I think it's only a matter of when is way four going to be completed? Way four, of course, of minor degree. Now, there's two scenarios. One is that way four is actually completed with wave C here, which broke the low wave A just by a little. So now we can be wave one of five, or else, which is my preferred scenario, which is what I would like to see. So basically, we are still in wave C of B, and I'm going to show you right now as I'm saying it. So let's go to the one hour chart. Basically, we could be here, down for wave A, A, B, and C, and then, so a bit higher, and then resume lower. So why am I saying this? Well, what I don't like about this move down is that it looks more like a three wave structure rather than a five wave structure. What does it mean? Basically, if it was a wave C of this degree, so if we had to put it like this, then this would, would have to be five. It's true, it can be a complex, so we can see three here, WXY, X, WXY. That's possible. I have to say that, but it would look more natural if it was something like this. So potentially, wave C, I would like you to, to see it completed anytime soon, potentially by the end of the week, even though we have the holidays in between. And then, well, let's move down to target equality of this initial move, move down in wave A to then buy. That would also make sense because if I take you back to the four hour, basically, we're looking for this channel to act as support. And usually, this is an L wave technique, it's called channeling. You connect one and three, and then project it to two and see where it ends. Basically, the wave four usually touches the, the support line of this channel. So we're looking for further upside, long story short, but before the upside, I would not mind to see one last move down. At that point, I would feel comfortable buying myself. So that was it for me today. As always, don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss out on the next update. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video. It'll, I appreciate it a lot and it costs you nothing. And don't forget to share it. And I'll see you in the next one.